Staff at the Basics Bank in Swadling are all volunteers, except the part-time supervisor. Cheryl's been with the charity seven years and knows that come autumn, they'll be really busy as people would rather keep their money for fuel bills than food. Last year was a peak for them. We served 9,000 people last year. I think the figures have levelled out this year, especially last year we had lots of people with sanctions from the job centre. That was a story that we were hearing an awful lot last year, but it, do, it is happening a little bit, but nowhere near like it was last year. This summer is still busy, and volunteer drivers pick up supplies from supermarkets who organise donations in a trolley, and also from supermarkets who would otherwise send a lot to waste. Driver Graham has done two runs already. I caught him before his next one to ask how people can help. Well, if they know people who are in need, then they need to refer them to one of the agencies that issue a voucher, because people can't just turn up. They have to be referred. That's one of the sort of checks on the system so that it's not being abused, which it's not. It's, it's all trying to work and, in everybody's interests. Uh, and also to donate, and it's one of these um, charities which works with lots of people giving a little regularly, and then that keeps a stream of stuff flowing in. We aim to help people three times through their crisis, um, you know, and depending on their situation, we liaise with a referral agent and may provide one or two more parcels. The Basics Bank is an emergency resource and not available on a weekly basis. So what difference does it make? Graham told us what it means to him. Being able to feed myself properly. Because at the moment I don't really um, uh, feed, feed myself properly, you know what I mean? So it's actually helping me to realise that, that I have to feed myself properly. Um, I've actually split up from my marriage. And I find it's easier for people that are on benefits and low income to help them because it's such a fight in the world. There's a food shortage and all that else. We're a Christian charity, so you know we really feel that we're working on behalf of the churches in Southampton and also we've got businesses and locals that just feel that you know they want to help people in their emergency need so you know it's good to be able to do that on behalf of other people. We get people who donate after they've got themselves back onto their feet and that's one of the most encouraging um, aspects of it where people have appreciated the help they've had when they're in difficulties and then they want to um, reciprocate. This is Shan Robbins for Solent News Now.